Hi, Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, I've been traveling for the last month and a half or so. Uh, I've been fishing a lot of lakes, uh, both throughout Oregon uh, and California. I've been tying a lot of different prominent and midge patterns. Easy stuff to tie, guys, but so effective. Uh, so join me. I'm going to be tying some zebra midges, great flies for the beginning fly uh, tire, but also extremely effective flies, uh, both on lakes and also in tailwaters. Um, follow along. Have a great time. This is the silver bead black zebra midge. I'm using an uh, 8-aught uni thread. I'm going to build up a little dam of thread right behind the bead to hold it in place. And I'm just using a uh, small uh, ultra wire. You can use that ultra extra small too if you wanted to uh, use any kind of wire you want kind of loose wrap just grab it I like keeping it right on top um, just to give it a nice uniform look I'm gonna come right back boom kind of manipulate that thread as I come down if you have to spin it counterclockwise it opens up the thread if you're using a thread like UTC it's pretty flossy you shouldn't have to do that Come right down to that hook bend and then touching wraps back up. Nice little taper. That's why I like keeping that wire on top. Once I get back up to the bead, a couple thread wraps right behind there. And then I'm gonna do four wraps out on five. Kind of pull these taunt. So there's one, two, three, four, and out on five. Two wraps behind, two solid wraps in front, another one right behind it. Go ahead and wiggle that wire out. And uh, nice little three to four turn whip finish. A little dab of super glue right there, or zap a gap, or whatever you like. I usually don't even glue these, I don't care since I'm using a whip finish because these are going to get torn up. Um, once again, I'll fish this underneath an indicator. You can also use a full sink line if you wanted to. Guys like uh, Brian Chan, man, if you Google this stuff online, you can find a lot of great information about how to strip these back in. Um, very small strips with pauses. You know, the guy's dedicated most of his life fishing um, Stillwater fisheries, or at least that's what he's known for. Um, so Google that because he's got some interesting tips on how to fish these different midge patterns, chrominids, and so forth. But that's your classic zebra midge, a little silver bead. You can tie it without a bead. Um, and like I said earlier, I also tie these in red. You can also tie them in olive and brown. But this is the classic. Um, fish it for lakes, fish it behind those dams, um, and all those different tailwaters and uh, tie a bunch up. Have a great day.